verse verse 6 verse again that thy people may rejoice in thee the Lord will revive us in Jesus name I want us to open our mouth and pray and hand over this country into the hand of the mighty God our country Nigeria we want to pray and say Lord Nigeria belong to Jesus because the Bible make it known to us clear it that for God so loved the world and gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed on him shall not perish but have eternal life our country will not perish in the hand of the hidden our country will not perish in the hand of the wicked God will intervene God is going to build this country for us for you and for me in Jesus name let's pray and say Lord we hand over our country Nigeria into your mighty hand we present it unto thee afresh this morning because you are the one who owns it. No man can claim the world. No woman can claim the whole universe. You are the owner. You found it upon the waters. And you preserve it by your power till today. Oh Lord, we the saints of God. We your children. The choosing. We have gathered together this morning. To call upon your name concerning this country Nigeria. Oh Lord, that whatever the hidden, whatever the wicked, whatever the unbelievers are doing in secret, that is not your will concerning this country, we command such plans scattered. We command such agenda nullified. Oh Lord, let your will alone be done in this country, Nigeria, for he is for Jesus. Nigeria is for Jesus, and only for him alone, oh Lord, we hand over take over. Pray that the Lord will take over. That the Lord will fight for us. That the Lord will give us victory. That we will not be a slave. Nobody will make us slave in this land. It is for not a single person. God make it for all. That we should dwell and rejoice and give him thanks. That's the will of God. And anything more than that is not the will of God and it will not stand. Whatever plan that is not the plan of God, that is not the will of God, that is not the mind of God, will not stand in this nation. Pray. God is here. He wants to hear your voice and my voice this morning as you call upon him. We have to pray and the Lord will give us a president. We cannot choose, but the Lord is our strength. The Lord will make a choice for us, for we depend upon him. We trust upon him. He is going to satisfy us. We say, oh Lord, give us a president after your heart that will walk with thee, that you will walk with him so that he will be able to lead and direct the affairs of this nation according to your will. Lord, give us a president that will follow the word of God, that will honor the Trinity, that will honor the name of Jesus. For if a leader is walking in darkness, the whole country will be in darkness. But when the leader is walking in the light the light of God will shine in every nooks and corner in this country and there will be joy there will be success there will be breakthrough there will be I mean employment things will begin to work out like before we want to pray and say Lord give us a president that will walk with thee that will walk in the command and in the promises of God that will honor the name of Jesus that will bow unto thee and not the hidden that does not know the truth.
pray, God will answer us. He said, bring your burden to me and leave it there for I care for you. God is caring for us. And when we call upon him, he will answer us. Talk to God this morning. We also pray that the Lord will bring solution to the problem of this nation. Of course, as he's going to give us a president from his heart, he will direct him on the path that he will go, that he will succeed in rescuing this country from perishing from the hand of the hidden, from the hand of unbelievers, from the hand of the uncircumcised Philistine. The Lord will do it as we join our faith together this morning and cry unto him because he said call call upon me at the time of trouble and I will answer you we are in trouble already in this nation let's call upon him with all our hearts and he will answer us talk to God in prayer When the Lord give us our heart desire, we will not hear about kidnapping. We will not hear about, I mean, killing, burning churches, killing people in the churches, which is an abomination. It is not the will of God. We want to cry to the Lord and say, Lord, give us a new Nigeria, a brand new country that will bow unto thee, that will worship thee, and you will bless us and bless all our children, our brethren, our sisters, all that call upon the name of the Lord, we rejoice. Pray, God is here to answer us. He's a God that answered the prayer. We are praying for the growth and progress and advancement of the true gospel and the church in Nigeria. We want to pray that the Lord will give growth to his churches. The Lord will give growth to his people as we call upon him. He will answer us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Father, we are saying thank you for this section. We have handed over our country to your mighty hand. That come this election, O Lord, we depend upon thee. We are looking unto thee. And no man that is looking upon thee, trusting upon thee, will be disappointed. Lord, I know already our heart desire, our prayer is answered already. Give us a president that will honor your name that will do your will and every one of us will rejoice in the Lord our God in Jesus name thank you Lord because I know that you have answered Jesus mighty name we pray amen you can sit down chorus leader please We are going to sing once again and glorify the name of the Lord. I want to advise you nothing God cannot do. Sing with joy. And God will not leave you to go empty and dead in Jesus' name. See God in all your challenges. Leave that challenge. Just see God this morning. And God, our God is bigger than all our challenges. He's bigger than all our problems. He will not leave you to go empty and dead in Jesus' name. Glory be to the Lord in the high Oh, honor be to the Lord in the high Everybody shout hallelujah Oh, shout applause Oh, Jesus is coming back. 
Lord. The Lord receive our praises and bless us tremendously in Jesus' name. You can sit down. We are making progress. We are now moving into our prayer section number four. We want to pray for our states, river states, and Bonny kingdom. And I know as we join our faith together this morning to present this prayer before the Lord, answer will come speedily in Jesus' name. Let's open our Bible to Psalm 122. Psalm 1, 2, 2. Psalm 1, 2, 2. We want to consider verse number 6 and number 7. The Bible says, Pray for the peace of Jerusalem, and they shall prosper that love thee. Can I hear amen? I want us to join our faith together to pray for River State that the Lord will carry this state along into a higher level in Jesus name that as election is coming there shall be peace in this state the Lord will grant us all our heart desire in this state in Jesus name let's pray and say Lord take over river state there shall be no bloodshed there shall be no killing as election is coming up the Lord will guide us the Lord will direct our state that he will give us a governor that will carry river states along not by killing not by destruction of life and property not by wicked ways but the spirit of the Lord will reign and rule and dominate in all that is going to happen in this day from the senate from the state house of assembly the Lord will select his people that the affairs of this state will be carried out respectively successfully peaceably the Lord will do it prosperously the Lord will do it with unity and love the Lord will do it as we pray together and then all the projects that will go on in this state will be completed will be accomplished the Lord will grant us all our heart desire in Jesus name there shall be no abandoned project pray We also want to pray for the state governor and executive council and for the other arms of government in the state for divine wisdom, good governance, peace, and progress in the state. Pray for divine governance in River State, peace and unity, progress in the state, love and togetherness. And as we pray, God will do it for us. Pray for divine enablement to River State government to complete all its projects, all the developmental projects in every sector in River State. There shall be no abandoned projects. All projects must be executed and completed in Jesus' name. Pray our state, River State. And as we pray, so shall it be in Jesus' name. Want to pray for Bonny Kingdom, the kings and the chiefs councils, the Bonny local government, and the Bonny Kingdom entirely. That the Lord will keep this kingdom in peace. The Lord will prosper all projects in this kingdom. That the Lord will give us the road projects that is linking us from this island to Port Nothing will stop it. 
I say the hand of the Lord will do it. We are getting it in Jesus' name. Pray for the success of Bonny Border Road projects from Bonny Highland to Port Harcourt. The Lord has given it to us already. No man can stop it. No demon can stop it. The Lord is on our side. Talk to God in prayer. As you are praying, don't doubt your prayer. As you are talking to God, believe God. That all that you say to God this morning, heaven honor it. One thing is to pray. Another thing is to believe that your prayer is answered. And so shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. We want to pray for job opportunities in Boni and for our brethren to get jobs, to get employment, for their business to grow. Those that are looking for God, for help, the Lord will answer them. Open your mouth and pray that the Lord will grant job opportunity for our brethren, for our sisters, for our youth boys and girls. As many that are looking unto God, for employment for this trend seven, the Lord will give it to them. The Lord will open door. The Lord will connect our brethren. And there will be testimony unto his glory. For he has done so much for us. Pray that the Lord will answer our prayer. So shall it be in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Heavenly Father, we are saying thank you. For this section of praying, prayer for our local government, for the entire Bonnie Kingdom, and all the projects in this local government, Father, we hand it over into your mighty hand for success, for breakthrough, for completing of all our projects in this island. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray for employment for all our brethren, our sisters, our youth boys and girls, O oh Lord our God. It is your will that we will be employed. Father, confirm it in every life in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because we know that you have answered. As we proceed this morning, Lord, proceed with us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let's, be, let's rise up on our feet. I want you to sing this song with me. The light must shine, the light of God must shine. No matter what the Satan do, the light of God must shine. The light of God must shine. No matter what the devil do, the light of God must shine. The light must shine, the light of God must shine. No matter what the devil do, the light of God must shine. In Jesus' mighty name we sing. In the book of Exodus chapter 14, verse 14, the Bible said, The Lord shall fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. Over this nation, God will fight for us. Over every challenges that we are having, God will fight for us. God will fight for our family. God will fight for the church. Let's open our mouth and say, Lord, fight for this country. Fight for the church. Fight for our family. Give us peace in this nation. The Lord shall fight for you. And the Bible says, Moses said to the people, children of Israel, hold your peace. Let's ask God, we shall have peace in this nation. The Lord will fight for our family. The Lord will fight for the children of God in this nation. Let's pray and talk to the Lord. Say, Lord, let your light shine in Nigeria. Lord Jesus, come and take over the affairs of this nation.
the affairs of this country. We hand over into your hand, O oh Lord. Fight for this nation. Restore our economy. Let there be security. Let there be peace. Let there be tranquility. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In, F in Joy, the book of Joy, chapter 20. I want to read verse 21. Joy, chapter 20, verse 21. I read. Fear not, O land. Be glad and rejoice. The Lord will do great things. In our family, God will do great things. In our nation, Nigeria, God will do great things. In our business, God will do great things. Let's open our mouth and say this morning, we take you by your wall. Do greater and mighty things in our family. Great things in our nation. Lord, do great things in our business. In this, our global crusade, do greater and mighty things. Let's open our mouth and pray. Let's open our mouth and pray. Ask God to do great things in our life, in our family, in our nation, in our program. Said, Amen. Amen. The light must shine. Amen. Jesus will reign Amen. in your life, your family, the nation, Amen. River State, and the Bonnie Kingdom in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I want to thank you for your sons and daughters who have defied this weather, the rain, to be here. That is a kind of sign of the kind of love they have for you and the love they have and the belief that when we come together to pray you will always hear us Lord I pray that this morning you will bless your sons bless your daughters touch every life in Jesus name as we continue in this prayer Lord I pray heaven shall be open unto us challenge our faith even now in Jesus' name, we are prayed. Just sit down. I know you are surprised to see me come up this time around. We'll see continue the prayer after the brief exhortation. I have a meeting with the student of Asia this morning by 10. Uh, so, and I know that if I wait till 10, I may not be able to say anything for today. Because I don't know how long the meeting will take. But by the grace of God, I believe that God is hearing our prayers. Okay, that amen is just not too, uh, not too strong. I say God is hearing our prayers. And God will answer our prayer more and more in the name of Jesus Christ. I would have loved to continue with the topic we've treated for some time now. But then maybe I would leave that one for the next time, the last part of it. And But I want us to just say one or two things concerning you, your family, the church, the crusade, and the land. I believe we all believe the power of prayers. Am I right? The Bible said, whenever we come together like this and we call upon the name of the Lord, God will always answer our prayers. I want us to look at the book of... Um, Romans chapter 10. Look at Romans chapter 10. Romans chapter 10. I want to read from verse 8. Romans chapter 10. Okay, let me write, start from verse 7. Or who shall descend? into the deep that is being to bring up Christ again from the dead. In verse 8, but what said it? The word is nigh thee. Even in thy mouth and in thy heart, that is the word of faith which we preach. This tells us importance of the word that we speak. The Bible said that faith cometh by hearing and hearing the word of God. 
And sometimes people wonder and they doubt, okay, who is going to do this and do that for us? The Bible says you don't need to even think about that. It said the word, everything that you need is in your mouth. Can I hear you say, my miracle is in my mouth? Say it again. Say it again. Where is your miracle? Where is your blessing? Where is your healing? Where is your deliverance? Where is your protection? Where is your prosperity? Where is all the miracle you need? It's in your mouth. Look at this. But what said it? The word is nigh thee. The word of healing, the word of success, the word of open doors, the word of deliverance, the word of favor, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth, what do you see next? The confession is made unto salvation. Once again, I want to tell you something about the salvation. When we talk about salvation, it's like a compound word. The meaning is more than one. Salvation simply means freedom from sin. Salvation could also mean deliverance from satanic power. Salvation means a lot of things. So when the Bible said that the salvation will come, and if you look at verse 13, look at now, verse 13. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall have salvation. That shall be saved. Now, meaning that if somebody who is a sinner call on the name of the Lord for freedom from sin, the person shall be free from sin. That's salvation. If someone who is in trouble, attack of the enemies, and is a believer, if he shall call upon the name of the Lord, that person shall be saved from the attackers. If one that is bound by whatever power shall remember to call upon the name of the Lord, that individual shall be saved from the oppressors. And so salvation simply means freedom from sin, freedom from enemies, deliverance. And so whenever we talk about salvation, you must understand that it goes beyond just freedom from sin. And the Bible said in that verse 13 in particular, for whosoever with the word in your mouth you confess, you call upon the name of the Lord. You'll be saved from your enemies. You'll be saved from your sickness. You'll be saved from your oppressors. You'll be saved from all the attackers, wherever they've come from. And so this morning, we are going to rise up to pray. And we are going to demonstrate this verse of the scriptures we have read. That the word is nigh thee. The word of miracle is not far from you. The healing you need is in your mouth. The deliverance you need is in your mouth. What you open your mouth to say to God is what God is going to do for you. And the Bible said, as they have spoken, so will I do unto them. Meaning that if I say things that will benefit my soul, that's what God will do for me. If I say something that will make me victorious over my enemies, that's what God will do for me. If I say something about my promotion and progress and long life, that's what God will do for me. So God will give to me what I ask for. Let's rise up this morning as we pray together. I want you to open your mouth and say, God, whatever you deserve from God this morning, they begin to pray now. It is in your mouth that miracle you need, that blessing you need. What can you declare now? Open your mouth and pray. This is a prayer time. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. The word of miracle is nigh thee, it's in your mouth. The word of deliverance is in your mouth. The word of healing is in your mouth. The word of freedom is in your mouth. The word of open doors, permanent open doors, is in your mouth. The word of prosperity and progress is in your mouth. The word of success is in your mouth. The word of the kind of man or woman you want to be in the hand of God is in your mouth. The word of the kind of family you want to raise is in your mouth. 
Open your mouth and pray now. Declare what is in your heart. Declare your inner intention. Tell God what you want with your mouth. Whosoever shall call. Are you bound by Satan? Are you bound by sickness? Are you bound by poverty? Are you bound by fear? Are you bound by discouragement? Are you bound by worry and anxiety? What is that thing that the enemy has used to invade your life? Open your mouth and pray this morning. And say, God, let my salvation come. Let my deliverance come. I want to have freedom. I want to have peace. I want to have joy. I want to have liberty. I want to have open doors. I want to have favor. Uh, is it job you are looking for? Or healing? Or children? Or husband? Is it salvation from sin? Whosoever shall call. Look at your challenge before God now. And mention that thing before the Lord. Your deliverance is coming right here now. Right now. Remember that thing you have been thinking about. How you want to become. And what you want to become. The life you want to live. Tell God now. And the Lord will come to your rescue. God wants to hear you pray. God wants to tell uh, you, to, you, you to tell him something. You will respond to your, to your call. If you say nothing, then you get nothing. If you speak nothing, then you receive nothing. Say something. Look at your situation within and without. Look at your environment. Look at the challenges. Look at the thing that seems to trouble your mind. Look at the thing that causes you to weep and causes you to shed tears. Consider those things now. And remember the power of the word of God we are talking about this morning. The Bible said the word is nigh thee. And the word of miracle you need is in your mouth. The word of salvation is there. The word of deliverance is there. Speak that word. And deliverance will come. Healing will come. Joy will come. Peace will come. Long life will come. Prosperity and progress will invade your life. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. There is salvation for all. Peace for all. Joy for all. Freedom for all. Deliverance for all. It's yours. Don't keep yourself away from the blessing. Open your mouth and say something to your God. The challenge before you. The need in your life. The sickness in your body. The fear in your heart. Call upon God, you'll be delivered from it. Why worry when you can pray? Why trouble when you can pray? Why panic when you can pray? You pray for the nation, it will happen. You pray for the state, something will happen. You pray for the kingdom, God will answer. And you pray for your family, don't worry, it will be done. You pray for your children, God will answer. You pray for the sinners, God will answer. You pray for the forthcoming global crusade, tomorrow God will answer. You are praying for the weather, God will answer. We confess, we have it. You pray for job, God will answer. Those things that troubles your heart, that disturb your mind, that seem to take away your peace and your joy. God will reverse it now. The word of faith is in your mouth. Speak it. That thing that is like a mountain enemy that is now as if, as if it cannot bow. Speak something now. That thing you desire to have. Say it. The word is in your mouth. That word of faith is in your mouth. The word of deliverance is in your mouth. The Bible says you will have what to say. You will have what to say. You say nothing, 
You have nothing. You can only have what to say. Learn to say something. Things pertaining to your personal spiritual life, say something. Things pertaining to your personal family life, say something. Things pertaining to your future, say something. Things pertaining to your goal in life, say something. Always learn to communicate, no matter how short or brief. The word of faith is in your mouth. The word of healing is in your mouth. I shall not die, believe. That is the word in your mouth. Speak it. It is well with your soul, with your spirit and body. That's the word of faith in your mouth. Speak it. No evil shall befall me. Neither shall any plague come near my dwelling. That's the word of faith. Speak it. No weapons of the enemy from any quarter from against me shall prosper. That is the word of faith. Speak it. Is there. God has said before me an open door and no man can shut that door. That's a word of faith. Speak it. Whosoever shall gather before you for your sake, they shall fall. That's the word of God. It does not matter the number. For your sake, they shall fall. And you are not the one to fall. Never. Every evil gang up of the wicked men and women, for your sake, they shall fall. It does not matter their roots. Balaam said to Balak that God has given me the promise to bless. He has blessed the people of God. I cannot reverse it. He said, you can't, I can't change what God has done. He has blessed the people. And I do not have enough power to reverse the blessing. I can't change it. When God has given you something, when God has blessed you, there is no man anywhere that can change that thing, that can reverse that thing. There's no such power anywhere. This morning, God wants to embarrass you. This morning, God wants to bless you. This morning, God wants to surprise you. You, you know, I'm happy with you. With this rain, you decided to be here. Tell me why God will not bless you this morning. If you understand what I'm saying here. For the sake that you have defied the rain to be here, God wants to do something. Tell God that thing you want to, 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 to God to do for you right now this morning. If you have been sick, I'm telling you the truth. If you have been sick for a long time now, you can have your miracle right now, your healing right now, right here now. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the, be very specific. Have faith in that word we are saying. Healing will come right here. Is it that you cannot sleep in the night? Bone troubles you. Your body troubles you. This very morning, God wants to touch you in a divine manner and remove all pains from your system. You can be healed now. Is it that somebody has promised you something and that thing is lingering? It's lingering. There's going to be a release right now. That miracle will happen now after this prayer. 
Is it that there's something you are hoping for? And it's as if the thing is delaying. God wants to bring it to pass now. Say something to God. Are you weak? You can be strong now. Are you down in health? God can raise you up now. Think about that worry and anxiety in your heart. That trouble in your mind. When you consider this and consider this and consider that and consider that, your heart is disturbed. But you know God can settle that right now. Your heart can be free. Your mind can be free. In Jesus' name we pray. If you believe in this prayer, can you shout a better amen? amen. Answer must come. Answer from on high. Hallelujah, when we pray to God, answer must come. Answer must. Answer must come. Answer must come. Answer from on high. Hallelujah, when we call on God, answer must come. Amen. Before we continue the prayer, just raise up your two hands. Father, I want to thank you once again because you are mighty. We bless your name, Father, because of your promises. You say we shall have what we say. And every miracle we need is in our mouth. Lord, we have said one or two things to you. Lord, we are asking that everything that has been mentioned this morning by your sons and daughters in faith, let those things come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. Let those miracles occur from today in the name of Jesus Christ. You have given us a promise that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord because the word of faith is in our mouth and when we call by faith and we speak the word of faith that we shall be saved. Let all the sinners in the land be saved. Let all the backsliders be delivered. Father, let those who are oppressed by the devil, by sickness, by satanic power, be delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let those who are into that experience of poverty. Father, I am asking that the word and the calling upon your name this morning will bring them out of their poverty in the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone that has been marked by the devil for destruction, and because of that, agents of death is affecting their life. I mean, are touching them in their body. They have no comfort, sickness, their sickness here. Lord, I'm asking, even those sickness that the doctors say cannot be cured, my father, I thank you because you are greater than every doctor in the world. My father, touch that man, touch that woman, touch that part of the body. Let that sickness disappear now in Jesus' name. Father, what is impossible with man? What we think cannot be done easily. Lord, I pray that this morning you will enter into the family of your children. You will enter into their body. You will enter into their heart. And whatever is not of God, be it spiritual or physical, let those things be flushed out in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, for those who are looking unto you for job, bring the job down. For those who are looking for husband, bring the husband down. For those who are looking for one thing or the other, and there's a, a trouble in their heart, there's fear, there's disturbance, there's worry and anxiety. Lord, I'm asking that this morning, let there be a surprise package in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, sickness is not a friend. Problem, they're not a blessing. Lord, I'm asking, Father, 
everything that seemed to disturb the health and the family and the body and the peace of your children let those things be cast out now in Jesus name Lord tomorrow is the crusade I pray everyone will come down and the glory of our God will fill all the clusters in the name of Jesus Christ the crusade will shake the whole world Father anoint our Father in the Lord specially for this period in the name of Jesus Christ Lord, I pray, Father, that all your children here that are having, Lord, one challenge or the other, either looking for money or looking for one thing or the other, Lord, I'm asking, Father, this morning, because of this prayer, you will bless them. Financially, you will bless them. Open more doors unto them in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, thank you because you have answered our prayers. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. The prayer continues before we end. Thank you. We have online prayer request from Lagos. Brother Ugo Christian, living in Lagos State, said we should pray that God should remove every manipulation in my marriage. And anything that will be an obstacle in my life, God should remove it. God should solve any issue of genotype that our blood should work together. Let's lift our voice to God Almighty and pray for brother Ugo Christian and his family in Lagos that God will remove and take away every evil manipulation against his marriage anything that will stand as an obstacle against his life against his family God will remove them God will take them away open your mouth and pray the issue of genotype God will take over our Lord Jesus Christ is a great physician let's open our mouth and pray that the genotype will work together for good. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We want to pray for Sister Alice Unyeche, living in Lagos State. She said, the people of God should pray for me and my family. Every plan of the enemies in my family, God will destroy it. God should send Epa to me in my business. Let's stretch forth our hand and pray that our sister from Lagos, Alice Unyeche, God will scatter the plan of enemy against our family. God will destroy the work of devil in our family. God will send the helper of our destiny to her. In our business, she will make progress. Open your mouth and pray for that sister. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. This is another prayer request. They say, brethren, pray. Please, I want you to join me in prayer. For my son hand to be healed by God. I pray God will heal that our sister's son in Jesus' name. God will heal that sickness. God will heal the hand. The hand of God will be upon that boy in Jesus' name. This hand got injured by accident. So serious. And God that has power over every sickness. He can fix the bones. God will lay hand upon that boy. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray and say, Lord, divine healing, divine earth upon this our sister son Lord do it in the glory of your name, feast the bones together in Jesus mighty name we pray this is another prayer request say bread and pray for me that the hand which God has given to me and I and I gave some to the church and now the enemy has stepped into to come and fight and say this Okay, it's the land, not hand. He said, the language God has given to me. That property is our property. Let's pray and join our faith together. That enemy will not take that land. Evil people will not encroach into that land. God will possess that land for this individual. Open your mouth and pray. All the enemy that tap into that land, God will fight for this, our sister. This jumbo land is for God. Enemy will not take it from her. 
pray that God should pursue them out of that land. Let's join our faith together. People of God, rise up. Let's pray that that land, God that possessed the land of Canaan for the children of Israel, he will possess this land for this, our sister. Enemy will not take that land. All the wicked ones, wherever they gather concerning that land, God will frustrate their plan. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. This is another prayer request. Say, my brother in the Lord, I want you to, I want you to assist me in prayer. I'll be experiencing delay in my life. Because whenever I go for tests in the site, I always, I always pass. But after some time, they will call me and say, I did not pass. Every hindrance shall be removed. Every obstacle shall be removed. They will call you this time, and as you go, they will, after the test, you will pass. Your name will come out. God will give you divine favor. Let's join our faith together and pray for this individual that God will answer his prayer. Concerning the job, God will give him that job. God will give him that employment. Every hindrance, every obstacle shall be removed. God will give this individual divine favor. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Here is another prayer request. Say God should give my daughter her own husband. God will give our sister, daughter, her own husband. God will give unto her in Jesus' name. God will give her a suitable companion. Let's join our faith together and pray. And say, Lord, we hand over this request into your hand. Give this our sister, daughter, good husband. The husband that you have destined for her, they will locate each other. The will of God will come to pass. Let's pray and join our faith together. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Last lady is the last prayer point from Sister Edna, gracious people. We are going to ask God, you say, oh Lord, my God, restore my family from the affliction. God will restore that family. He will deliver that family from every form of affliction in Jesus' name. And let's pray for peace and mercy upon their family. Let's pray for her for financial breakthrough. Let's stretch forth our hand and pray and say, Lord, answer the prayer of our sister. Unite our family. Deliver the family from every form of affliction. Deliver the husband from every spiritual attack. Give this family financial breakthrough. Let's join our faith together and pray that God will fight for this family. God will give them sufficient grace to serve him in holiness and righteousness. Anything that is not functioning well, God will normalize every anomality in this family. Let's pray that every cause shall be removed. God will bless this family. Sickness and death, affliction, God will take them away. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray for them. Anything that is causing confusion, disunity between her and her husband, God will take away such things. There shall be peace in her home. There shall be unity in this family. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's stretch forth our hands together. Let's stretch our hands to the front and pray and say, Lord, turn all these prayer requests to testimony. Open your mouth and pray. That we have, as we have prayed over this prayer request, God will turn this prayer request to testimony. This prayer will be, shall be answered. Free hindrance, God will take it away. God will answer this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. God will give us testimony over this prayer request. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you once again for what you have been doing in this church. We bless your name because you are the God that answers prayer. And your word says, This is the confidence that we have that when we pray according to your will, that you will hear us. We have prayed this morning. Healing is your will. Deliverance is your will. Breakthrough is your will. Financial breakthrough is your will. Lord, I pray, will of God in marriage is your will. All these prayer requests we hand over into your hand this morning. Answer our prayer in Jesus' name. Grant us our heart desire and give your people testimony in Jesus' name. Every anti prayer demons that want to oppose this prayer, we bind them, we render them powerless in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Give me a louder amen. Before we hear the testimony, I want us to pray this one prayer point before we 
sit down and listen to the testimony. We have prayed over the, we have prayed for the nation, for the, for security of the nation that God should take away every insecurity. But I still want us to pray. In the book of Joel chapter 2, Joel chapter 2 in verse 20, but I will remove far off from you the northern army and will drive him into a land barren and desolate and with his face toward the east sea and his in that part toward the utmost sea and his thing shall come out and his ill savior shall come out because he has got, done great things. Let's join our faith together and pray this prayer and say Lord, let the northern armies that came from another country to terrorize this nation Lord, frustrate their plan over this nation. Rise up and pray together. Rise up and pray. This is all this prayer point we need it. Let's ask God. The northern armies, God said, He will pursue them, He will drive them to a barren land. Let's ask God and say, Lord, we take you by your word this morning. The northern armies that are terrorizing the nation of Nigeria, Lord, scatter their plan. Let them pack their load and packages and their weapons. Let them leave this country for us. Nigeria is for Christ. In all over the nation, Jesus will take over their fears. All the northern army armies, God will scatter them. God will scatter their plan over this nation. There shall be peace. There shall be security. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. As we pray, so shall it be in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Give me a louder amen. In Matthew chapter 15, verse 13, the Bible says, Every tree that my heavenly father has not planted shall be uprooted, shall be rooted out. Rise up and say, My body is the temple of God. Every sickness, anything that God has not planted, Lord, root them out of my body this morning. Uproot them out of my system. Flush them out of my body. Flush them out of my blood. Flush every evil contamination every poison that I've eaten in the dream flood them out of my system my body is the temple of God my body is not the temple of sickness anything that God has not planted that enemy has planted into my body where I'm sleeping Lord uproot them this morning let every evil plantation be uprooted in my body from my head to the feet of my toe Lord I decree and I declare healing uproot every evil arrow out of my body in Jesus mighty name we pray Father Lord we thank you once again for answer our prayer and I pray Lord that as we listen to this testimony you will give us testimony in Jesus name in this our global crusade there shall be testimony in our life in our family there shall be testimony in Jesus mighty name we pray a louder amen Let's have our seat as we listen to testimony of our sister, Sister Edna, gracious people. Come and share your testimony. Brethren, praise the Lord. There's this wonderful song that I want to share with you people. Now, so, so wonder Jesus they do. 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 Hey, he has done it for me. Hey, he has done it for me. Hey, he has done it for me. Now, so, so wonder Jesus did. Praise the Lord. God, God has been so merciful to me. I want to glorify the name of the Lord for he has been so good. Since last year, I and my husband have been having serious misunderstanding to the point that he said, he won't handle it again. That because I've been having this issue with him, and he's had these terrible things in his heart. Like whenever you wrong him, you say, "If I didn't take revenge, I will not forgive the person." That anyhow I plead, he will not forgive. That neither forget. So I kept on praying to, and I also miss our role. I explained everything to him. He kept on joining me in prayer. So 
the, that was on Tuesday, I mean Wednesday. He fell to him and we, we took him to the hospital. So he was saying that he wants to give his life to Jesus, that he has repented from all his sins, that everything concerning the past, he don't want to remember it, that he has left it behind, that God should forgive him his sin and cleanse him away from every affliction of the enemy. But then praise the Lord. Luckily, to, since then, the way my husband has been acting is, is, has been so different. He's always caring, even for his kids. He always cares for them. He, even this morning, he called me for us to pray. I was like, ah, ah, Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, thank you. Truly, my husband is not a changed person. I want to give God all the glory for all the good things he has been doing in my life. And I pray that he got not to do more greater things in our life since in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's clap our hands for Jesus. That testimony shall be permanent in Jesus' name. I pray as from today henceforth, that brother, God has arrested him. Enemy will not bring him down. God will give him grace to continue. He will live his life for Christ. And the healing, God will perfect it. This marriage shall be fruitful. Our sister will deliver safety like every woman in Jesus' name. Testimony will not cease in this family. In your life, in my life, I speak authoritatively. Testimony will not cease in our family in Jesus' name. Your life shall be a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. If you believe God with me, rise up and say, Lord, between now and next week Wednesday, remember we are going to start the global crusade tomorrow. Lord, I want to come out for testimony. In this global crusade, there shall be testimony. Miracle galore. Open your mouth and pray. Miracle for the sinners. Miracle of salvation. Miracle of healing. Miracle of breakthrough. Miracle of success in the exam for our children. Let's open our mouth and pray. This global crusade, oh Lord, come and have your way. Give us spectacular miracle. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. That God will touch our life. Tomorrow, God will have his way. In all our clusters. In the Korodu, the center of the crusade. We shall see the manifestation of his power. Open your mouth and pray and say, Lord, we need testimony. Testimony of new comfort in all our churches. Testimony of salvation for our children. Testimony of new house in our village. Testimony of healing. Testimony of success in our hazard. Open your mouth and pray and say, Lord, give us testimony. In book of Revelation chapter 12 verse 11, the Bible says we overcame them by the blood of the Lamb. And the word of our testimony, my brothers and sisters pray and say, Lord, this morning, I overcome every challenge. God will turn all our challenges to testimony. As we are living here, going out to go and invite people for tomorrow's crusade. They will come. They will listen to us. They will attend the crusade. Let's ask God to give us testimony over the weather. There shall not be rain in the evening tomorrow. From tomorrow, the second day of August 2022, God will give us good weather. Sun will shine. There shall not be rain. Let's hand over all our leaders that we, that we moderate this program. Our Father in the Lord, all our uh, uh, pastors, let's pray for fresh anointing, fresh fire, fresh auction upon them. Let's ask God to work with them. All the instruments we are going to use in that center, the hand of God will build upon them. Our generator will not disappoint us. The light of God will shine. All the instruments we are going to use, pray, God will lay hand upon them. Let's take authority and dominion over every power, every principality that want to oppose this crusade. God will scatter them. The power of God will prevail. Every work of darkness shall be destroyed. In here, in hospital group, in Akiyama group, in uh, Fakpa, Agaja, Finima, Wibros. Let's pray. Orosky. New layout. Let's ask God to manifest his power. Every territorial spirit, we bind them. Every power that wants to stand or oppose that program tomorrow, God will frustrate them. Let's ask God for peace in the land. There shall be peace. There shall be security. There shall be freedom of movement. Let's pray in the Korodu, the center of the crusade. Let's pray that God will secure that environment for us. In all our crusade location, in all our clusters, there shall be security. There shall be security. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Every hindrance, every obstacle shall be removed. Let's pray for mass conversion of soul. 
the multitude of souls will be added into his kingdom. This global crusade shall be greater than last month. Let's open our mouth and pray. Let's join our faith together. And ask God to manifest his power. And let's pray that God will prove himself tomorrow. Our Father in the law, God will give him fresh anointing as he's opened his mouth to declare the word of God. Souls will be comforted. The word of God will confide the sinners. Let's ask God. Let's ask God. This crusade, there shall be an increase in all our churches. God will establish the new comfort in the church. Let's open our mouth and pray. Let's open our mouth and pray. Let's open our mouth and pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We want to pray for our family now. Let's hand over our family into the hands of God. In the book of Psalm 118, verse 25, the Bible says, Save now, I BCD, send down prosperity. This morning, our family members that are not yet saved, the salvation will, of our Lord Jesus Christ will locate them. In this global crusade, God will save them in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and pray for your family. My son shall be saved. Our daughter shall be saved. Every member of our family that are not yet saved, God will save them. In this global crusade, our members that are not yet born again, God will save them. God will send our prosperity into his ministry. Our ministry, prosperity will locate all our churches. Let's open our mouth and pray. Our business, our family, God will send our prosperity. Every spirit of barrenness, God will remove them. Let's pray that every form of affliction, God will deliver our family this morning. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you so much for what you have been doing since morning that we started this meeting. Thank you for our Father in the Lord here that you have used for us. Thank you for this testimony. Thank you for everything. Father, take all the glory in Jesus' name. Merciful and the righteous Father, as we are living here, we pray that your presence will go with us. Your presence will abide with us. Your presence will not depart from our family in Jesus' name. Lord, all the prayer we have offered concerning the crusade, I pray, oh Lord, that come next week, Wednesday, if this authority is coming, we shall have testimonies. God will fill our mouth with testimony in Jesus' name. No weapon of enemy form against you and your family shall prosper. Every tongue that write judgment against you, against me, shall be condemned in Jesus' name. We cover our life with blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. God bless you. We have come to the end of this meeting. As we are living here, we all know that our crusade will start tomorrow. Let's go out and invite people. Let's invite our neighbors. Let's invite our even nobody is your enemy because you are a child of God. But invite those neighbors around you. And as you pray, and as we have prayed together here, I believe they will come for that crusade. And as we attend the crusade, tomorrow God will give you your own testimony. Thank you. God bless you. Total emancipation by the authority of Christ with Pastor Dr. W.F. Mui. The date of the crusade is 28th July, the 2nd of August 2022. The upper location is Kururu, Lagos. And then all over the world, Nigeria and all the states and all the locations in Nigeria, in various clusters. Crusade will be going on simultaneously. Everyone is invited. The old, the young, the children, the rich, the poor, the sick. And in this crusade, there shall be full emancipation for the sinners, for the sick, for the oppressed, and there's going to be total liberty and liberation politically. So as you come, come with your family, your loved ones, and the blessings of God will never pass you by. And at the same time too, there's going to be a wonderful program with the youth, unlimited potential for all our teenagers, campus students, and coppers, and young adults, and all the young professionals. Please, you are all invited to come with your dear ones, your family members, and as you come, come expecting, and the Lord is ready to pour and release his blessings upon each and every one. Thanks and God bless you as you come.